In a groundbreaking scientific achievement, researchers have successfully grown synthetic human embryo models in the laboratory, a major first that has sparked both excitement and ethical concerns. This scientific breakthrough has the potential to revolutionize health, genetics, and disease treatment, but it also raises fundamental questions about the nature of life itself. Stem cells, the versatile building blocks of life, played a pivotal role in this remarkable discovery. Stem cells can be programmed to develop into various cell types, contributing to growth and repair within the human body. In this study, researchers carefully directed stem cells derived from traditional embryos to become precursor cells, ultimately forming the yolk sac, placenta, and the structure of the embryo itself. Although the details of this achievement have not yet been published, it has captured the attention of the scientific community. The study was led by biologist Magdalena zernika Goetz from the University of Cambridge, along with collaborators from the United Kingdom and the United States. Notably, this team had previously succeeded in growing synthetic mouse embryos with rudimentary brains and hearts. However, it is important to note that these embryo structures are far from fully developed babies. They are more like models of embryos, lacking essential organs such as the heart and brain. Instead, they serve as representations of early embryonic development, mimicking some but not all of the features found in natural embryos. Magdalena Zernika gets clarified on Twitter that these structures are not synthetic embryos, but rather embryo models. She emphasized that the aim of this research is not to create life, but to save it. One potential application of this breakthrough is the ability to investigate why many pregnancies fail during the stage of development that these synthetic embryos replicate. By studying these critical early moments in a laboratory setting, researchers hope to gain a deeper understanding of the causes behind these failures. Furthermore, this innovative technique opens doors to unraveling the development of common genetic disorders during the earliest stages of life. Increased knowledge about the origins of these disorders will empower scientists to develop more effective interventions and treatments. However, as with any emerging technology, concerns arise regarding the implications of creating synthetic embryos. Experts emphasize the need for robust regulations to govern this type of research, regulations that currently do not exist. Biologist Rodrigo Suarez from the University of Queensland stresses the importance of these new in vitro assays in understanding human development and the effects of environmental and genetic anomalies. He also acknowledges that society must carefully balance the risks and benefits associated with this approach and adapt existing legislation accordingly. Bioethics researcher Rachel Ankeny from the University of Adelaide highlights the current 14-day rule, which limits the cultivation of human embryos in vitro to a maximum of two weeks. Such rules, along with potential new regulations, compel us to contemplate the moment at which we consider life to begin and how closely a synthetic embryo must resemble a human embryo to be deemed equivalent. Engaging with the public and understanding their perspectives on early human development becomes crucial as these biological processes intertwine with our values and our perception of what constitutes human life. As scientists continue to push the boundaries of knowledge, the growth of synthetic human embryo models marks a pivotal moment in our understanding of life and its complexities. It is a reminder that with each scientific advance, we must navigate the intricate balance between progress, ethics, and the profound questions that shape our existence.